I came to the bench and I just started crying. And then coach just asked me like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I was like, they just keep making racial slurs towards me. Like they, they were taunting me the whole game. We begin tonight with the WBZ exclusive. A high school basketball player taunted with racial slurs. She tells us how rival fans heckled her with hateful words. That incident caused her school, Wayland High, to cancel future games with the other team. Good evening, I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. She says what happened on the court should never happen to anyone. Tonight, she's speaking only to WBZ. Ken McLeod is live in Wayland. And Ken, the school is behind her 100%. Yeah, Lisa, Zaniah Phillips tells me she loves basketball, but isn't sure she'll ever feel the same again out on the court, even as her teammates and schoolmates here at Wayland High School rally around her. I just want an apology out of the boys that had just said that to me. Wayland High guard Saniah Phillips is talking about a dozen or so boys sitting in the home bleachers last week when Wayland played at Westford Academy. Boys who began with nasty cracks about her hair and then moved on to her skin color. I was in the basketball game. I had to be focused. Like it was just more of like I I, I didn't know what to do at that point. But in the second half, the N word started flying. I came to the bench and I just started crying. And then coach just asked me like, oh, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" And I was like, "They just keep making racial slurs towards me. Like they they were taunting me the whole game." Wayland's coach brought the slurs to the refs' attention, but the game carried on. Days later, however, the Wayland superintendent proclaimed that his teams would not play Westford again in any sport for the rest of the school year. No parent should ever hear, um, see, witness their own child in public. Um, being treated like that. Westford school officials and community leaders were quick to condemn the racist slurs, with the superintendent pledging, quote, we are committed to the long process necessary to enact and sustain meaningful change. Sanaya is a Metco student, and her mom says this is the first time racism has knocked at her door. That night was a quiet ride home um, until she was ready to speak about it. And initially, the 17-year-old says she decided not to talk about it, at least not publicly, until she thought about her responsibility to keep it from happening to some other teen. I honestly just want to feel like, like what was done to me is taking like very serious. Tonight, the Westford Select Board publicly apologized to Zaniah, and the school superintendent has banned students from attending sports there temporarily as part of an effort to hold them accountable for their behavior. Live in Wayland tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.